hello you're welcome here let's solve this nice exponent system of equation and uh, let's divide this as equation one and here equation two so we are interested in finding 3 raised to power x minus 3 raised to power y which we should get the value of x and y first then from equation one we have 3 raised to power x divided by 3 raised to power y equals to 3. Applying the law of indices from here, since this divide and we have the same base, we can write 3 raised to power x minus, one, minus y equals to 3 raised to power 1. Then we have the same base. This implies that the power will be equal, so we have x minus y equals to 1. Then we label this as equation 3. Then from this, let's look at the first way of solving this. Method 1 now. Method 1 from here. Then this will be from equation 2 now we have 3 raised to power x plus 3 raised to power y equals to 12. Then from here, we can write this as 3 raised to power x plus y minus y. y minus y is still 0, so it's the same thing as 3 raised to power x. Then plus 3 raised to power y equals to 12. Then from here, we can separate this as 3 raised to power x minus y, then plus y plus 3 raised to power y equals to 12 from here then in the next step we can write this as 3 raised to power x minus y times 3 raised to power y following the laws of indices then plus 3 raised to power y equals to 12 then we have x minus y in equation 3 to be 1 so we can substitute the value of x minus y that is 1 here yeah, now, so we have 3 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power y plus 3 raised to power y equals to 12. Then from here, we factor 3 raised to power y out. Remain 3 raised to power 1 here, which is same thing as 3, plus remain 1 here, which is equals to 12. Then from here, 3 plus 1, that's 4. We have 3y, 3 raised to power y times 4 equals to 12. Divide both sides by 4 from here. 4 cancel each other here. So we have 3 raised to power y left, which is equal to 3 here, which we can also write as 3 raised to power 1. Then we have same base. It implies from here that y will be equal to 1. And uh, if y equals to 1, then from equation 3, we have x minus y equals to 1 it means from here x minus 1 equals to 1 x is now equals to 1 plus 1 from here x equals to 2 so we have the value of x to be 2 and the value of y to be 1 then before we conclude let's look at from here the second way of solving this now the method 2 quickly from here then we have the equation 2 as 3 raised to power x plus 3 raised to power y equals to 12 then from this equation 3 we can make x the subject then x will then be equals to 1 plus y so from here Instead of writing x here, we can substitute 1 plus y, and this will be 3 raised to power 1 plus y, then plus 3 raised to power y equals to 12. Then from here, law of indices, we separate this as 3 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power y, then plus 3 raised to power y equals to 12. Then 3 raised to power y common, we take it out, we have 3 raised to power 1, which is 3 plus 1 left here, which is 12. Then we have 
Yeah, 3 raised to power y times 4 equals to 12 from here. Divide both sides by 4. Then we have 3 raised to power y equals to 3 raised to power 1. 3 equal same base, then y equals to 1. Then from this equation we derive that is from equation 3, s equals to 1 plus y. So x will then be equals to 1 plus y, which is 1. So from here, x equals to 2 from here. So same way, we got x equals to 2 and y equals to 1. So then we have to find the value of 3 raised to power x minus 3 raised to power y. So from here, that will become 3 raised to power 2 since the value of x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. Then we have 3 square minus 3 raised to power 1 is equal to what from here? 3 square is 3 times 3. Of course, that's 9. That's 9 minus 3 raised to power 1. That's 3. So 9 minus 3, that's 6. That means we have 3 raised to power x minus 3 raised to power y here to be equals to 6. And uh, we have the solution to the problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget this steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn on the notification bell. Share this video. Give it thumbs up. You can put your comment in the comment section. See you in the next class. Bye for now.